Hello everybody. In the last video, we selected an HTML template and we used Git to clone it. The template has CSS files, other static files like images, also JavaScript files and an index.html file and other static pages like about.html and contact.html. What we would do in this video is actually split this up into Laravel Blade templates. For this, you would need some basic Laravel knowledge. If you don't have any previous knowledge of Laravel, I would recommend going through the Laravel Basics series that I would share a link to in the video description. Okay, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is go to the resources folder, then views, and here let's create a folder and let's call it layout. This would hold our master layout. So let's go ahead and create a file. Let's call this master.blade.php. So here we would like to include elements that would be shared across our whole application. This would include things like the opening and closing, HTML tags, also the body tag. We could also here add the head tag. So I would just copy the starting of the HTML file and paste it here. Then let's also copy the closing HTML and the closing body tags. Just copy that, go back to the master.blade.php file and paste it here. Okay, this looks good. Then what we need to do is to create a folder called partials, which would hold our partials like footer and navigation menu. So let's create the folder. Actually, let me zoom a little bit so you could see better. Okay, I think that's better. And then inside the folder, let's put nav.blade.php. This should be the file containing our navigation menu. If you go back to the index.html file and look for the nav menu, so here it is. I'll just copy that and paste it into the nav.blade.php that we just created. Then let's go ahead and create another file inside that partials folder called footer.blade.php. And if we go back to the index.html file and scroll down and let's copy the footer along with the custom JavaScript files here. I'll just select it, copy it, and let's paste it in the footer.blade.php. Okay, this looks good. Let's save it. Now we have our partials. So what we need to do is actually include the partials into our master.blade.php file. To do that, we just need to use add, then include. And inside the brackets, we just specify the name of the file that we want to include. First, we'll do this for the nav, and then we'll do the same thing for the footer. Okay, so far so good. Then let's yield our content. So this would be the actual content of each page. Okay, and with that, we are ready with the main layout. Let's now go ahead and create a home.blade.php. which would basically be our index page. What I would need to do is just copy the whole thing from the footer all the way up to the navigation menu. So just select that and paste it inside the home.blade.php file. But before I do that, let's just make sure that we extend the master layout that we just created. To do that, we just need to type add extends and then followed by the name of the layout. Let's also create a section. And let's call this content as this is what we specified in the main layout. 
then inside the section just paste the content that we've just copied from the index.html file and save it okay now let's go ahead and prepare our route what i'll do here is just for the home route i'll change the view to home instead of welcome then save that and let's go ahead and visit this in our browser so just visit the ip directly okay so the site is loading but it looks like that the static files are not being loaded in terms of css files and images actually if we open our web console we should be able to see the 404 messages fixing that is pretty easy what we need to do is actually use the asset function for all of the static files so let's quickly go ahead and change that in our main layout what we need to do is just put asset and then wrap this up into quotes i will go ahead and do that for the rest of the css files This is a good practice as you would always know that your static files are loaded correctly okay i'll just save this maybe one more thing that we would like to do is move all of the static files like css images and javascript from the static html folder to the public folder directly to do that just right click on the folder click copy then right click on the public folder and click paste let's do the same for images right click on images copy then right click on public paste and finally let's do this for the javascript files right click on the javascript folder copy then right click on the public folder and paste of course you could do that via your terminal it would be much quicker okay okay seems like i've put the javascript folder inside the images folder i need to move that out so just drag and drop the js folder to the public folder then say move okay and with that as we can see we have the css files the images files and the javascript files inside our public folder We could actually also move the vendor folder so right click on the vendor folder copy and then right click on the public folder and paste we just basically copied the static files from the static html folder directly inside the public folder now if we head back to our browser hit refresh we can see that the site loads as expected and we can see all of the static files and we no longer see the 404 messages so this is pretty much it for this video let's go ahead to the next one and make sure to let me know if you have any questions